recherchons access interdit aux touristes sans l'avis de responsable. This is the domain of the researchers. Access is prohibited for tourists without the permission of the head of the park. I love this forest. It's absolutely, it's just the greatest forest because if you spend five minutes, if you spend 20 minutes, if you spend an hour just sitting in the forest, you'll see something new. You'll see something you never saw before. Or, you know, maybe it's just a little bit of behavior of one of the animals. Or, you know, maybe it's a spider that you haven't seen before, but it's going to be something. And so that kind of keeps me, you know, enthused about just coming out here in the woods and just looking around. We have gathered together today to celebrate the results of 17 years of working together to preserve the environment, the forest and its wildlife, and the people of the southeastern part of Madagascar. You know, what I've mostly learned is, is Pat Wright's success story. What I've learned is that successful conservation initiatives must start with people first. It must stem from people, their pride, their ownership in the environment. And Pat Wright has succeeded by, of course, helping the lemurs and helping preserve rainforest, but engaging the community of Malagasy people to have an economic incentive in the rainforest, give them career pathways that are integrated into the rainforest, elevate their educational opportunities, their health care system. It's a magical, strategic approach that Pat has implemented here which I think is the only way we can succeed saving such critically endangered habitat. We care so much about the lemurs, but you know what? We care even more about the trees and the bamboo and the rainforest. We must save the forest to save the lemurs. And Pat has a success story here. Aranamafan National Park was created in 1991, 12 years ago, by a hardworking team, most of whom are here today. You know, when I think back, you know, things were so different when we started out. The people here had no idea why I was there, and they had no idea why I thought that lemurs were so important. They had no idea about what, what the importance of nature was here, you know? And it's, it's so changed now. If you can, you can ask anybody, and they really sincerely understand the value of their forest and they really and sincerely love it and really want to work to protect it. I can hardly see them through here, but they're eating, and there's three of them. I know that. They're really amazing, aren't they? Wow, I haven't seen them for three months. Great. Oh, there he goes. Oh, <laughs> can you see him? It's going up the tree. Cool, they're heading this way. That's good. And we've come so far. You know, we used to have six of us researchers that would come, and now there's, you know, there's over 150, 200 a year. I mean, it really makes a difference. Now, I'm not saying that everything's perfect, because it's not. Yeah, I'm just saying that we've come a long way, and we've got a long way yet to come. Ah, she looks good. Is she okay? Yes. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, she does look okay. She's one year old, but she's big. This is fantastic. She's really nice. A journalist once wrote an article that dubbed me the rainforest savior, uh, which I thought was a little corny at the time. But the truth is that if I can save some of the rainforest for my children and grandchildren and everybody's grandchildren, then, then I will feel that I have done a pretty good job of what I should be doing. And, uh, you know, studying a new species of, uh, of lemur has been certainly fun, but I think, you know, saving the whole ecosystem is what I'd like to be known for. You know, Jeff Wyatt's been extraordinary here in our project because, you know, we, we've been studying these animals for 17 years, um, and we've been doing health checkups, but we've been basically just kind of 
doing them without a medical doctor, which is, you know, the way, uh, you know, we're, we're playing doctor is what we're doing. And what we needed was the kind of veterinarian information that he could bring us, the kind of studies that he could bring us. I mean, we need to know about the viruses that they have and the parasites that they have. We need to know a lot of the things that he can tell us that we just couldn't do before. Now, Jeff is wonderful. I mean, he gets along so well with the Malagasy people. He's just working so closely to his Malagasy students. He is absolutely a dream with my my graduate students, got them charged up about doing a lot of new research they hadn't even thought about before. And you see this, you know, the synergy, this sign of, you know, this energy going into projects that, you know, we're coming along okay, you know, but now they're better. They're a lot better than they ever were before. And I really appreciate Jeff's enthusiasm, motivation, and his uh, scientific knowledge that has made this possible. One of the things I found out here in this project is that one person can make a tremendous difference in a lot of rainforest. And, and that's great, because if you can get a lot of people, you can make a lot of difference. And that's what's going to save this forest. It's fun to show people the place because you can, they can see what's, what actually is going on. And part of the reason why I enjoy showing this place off is because at least in the popular literature, you know, it sounds like the rainforest all is all disappearing. There's no hope. It's all gloom and doom. And, you know, true, the picture's a little sad. But, uh, you know, here, at least in this corner of the world, we're really starting to turn it around in the, in the other direction. I think it's really important for people to realize that there is something that they can do. You know, it's, it's, it's so discouraging to think about all the rainforest in the world disappearing, and you, we all know that now. You know, people sit in the northern hemisphere and they forget about the southern hemisphere. That's half the world. Half the world's population or more. And, and, so, and I think people want to do something. I think they just don't know what to do. And so I, my, my um, hope is that people would start to, to work toward preserving the future and the conservation of Malagasy rainforest in particular.